Hi, right, we're Efficiency UK, and we're from Launchton, and we're concentrating on saving energy for the unit at a local skate park. Yeah, it's been really great uh, working with local business, because sort of all the things that we've been learning in class, we can sort of apply it to real life and sort of see, see the things that we've learned and see how they benefit economical factors within businesses and how it benefits real life, really. It's been really good. Hello. Hi, I'm Tom, this is Colin, we're from Cameron College. And we're ECOS and we're working with Tulip. We've designed a pipe for Tulip to um, help with the heat recovery system. It's um, a vented air pipe that heats the hot air, hot water that's going into um, the boiler system. It's been really insightful working with Tulip. Unlike at school, the college has helped us understand how the real world works. Definitely working with a big company like Tulip. I'm Amy and we're part of the Evergreen team from Camborne Science Community College. This is Dean. We've been working with Townscape Heritage Initiative in Camborne. Uh, definitely the hardest part of this task was maintaining contact with our uh, business as halfway through uh, it changed. We also had a problem entering uh, the, the um, property as there was an asbestos problem. We decided to concentrate on the outside of the building. Uh, it's been um, great to be able to focus in on glazing, and in particular slender glaze, which beforehand we knew nothing about. We now consider ourselves mining, minor glazing experts. Hello, we're Jab Energy. We're from Dutchy College, Stoke Limsland. Uh, and we've worked with uh, the farm manager of the dairy unit at Wiscombe Head Farm. We've been instructed to um, look at the dairy and the electrical appliances that are currently there and find, find ways in which savings could be made, ways of reducing the amount of wattage used and, and producing the carbon, carbon footprint overall. And uh, we have also worked with um, a real business that um, has benefited the whole group um, with understanding that electricity is uh, money uh, to the end of the day. Hello, I'm David. And I'm David. We're students from Dutchy College, Stoke Limsland. The aim of our projects was to discover the water and energy usage in the equine yard at Dutchy College, Stoke Limsland, and after that, implement changes to lower their carbon emissions. We're already quite uh, energy aware, but hopefully the things that we've learned throughout the course of doing this project, we can then implement in the future and carry forward into our professional lives after we graduate. Hi, I'm Phil Harwin. I'm a course manager at Dutty College and I manage the National Diploma Countryside Management. Um, my second year is just taking part in the project and they've gained quite a lot from it, particularly about what mistakes can be made in terms of researching, data collection, and data present presentation. One of the benefits of this, it prepares them for university and the sort of things they might come against. Hi, we're from Austin College. I'm Grace and I'm April. We're the Carbon Busters and we are investigating how Launceston Library could save energy. Um, this course has been brilliant because it's seen us more independence and learning more independently. It has been challenging but it's been really good to be active learners. Hi, I'm Lloyd. I'm part of Cornwall College Campbell. Um, I'm part of the UREC company. Um, we're working with Tulip, the baking factory in Madruth. Um, it's completely different to what you do in class. Um, you'd, in class you'd just be sat there, you'd uh, take information that you'd be taught by a teacher and uh, be expected to keep it in your head. Um, the seed um, project's been completely different. It's been, you've been told what to do and you've got free will to do with it as you will. Uh, Hello, we're from Richard Dunn's school. I'm Sam Perryman. I'm Callum Blair and we're a sustainability team. The things we have learned about the project are um, I've learned more about uh, the things in the house code that be, could be recycled, basically anything can be recycled in there. Um, we've learned more about melting plastics down and things like that. And I've thought more about turning, turning lights off at home and turning Xbox and everything like that off. So. Hi, my name's Steve Candle. I'm a course manager at Cornwall College. We've been involved with the Sioux project with some students that I teach from Richard Landers School. The project's been a great experience for them because it's sort of opens up a whole sort of like dimension of sustainability that they didn't really consider before. Um, the project we worked on was with um, THI in Campbell on the old um, Hallman's assembly rooms and the boys sort of looked at it 
in a very different light to what I would have done and it kind of opened up my eyes to a little bit to some of the ideas that they were coming up with not just the sort of sustainability that we use in actually building the buildings but in the use and attracting people to come and live in a sustainable fashion sort of later on the end user <laughs> I'm Claire Langdon from Community Energy Plus and I've been coordinating the schools for intelligent energy use. Uh, we've just had the third round of the final presentations and we've heard some amazing ideas from the students. It's been absolutely inspiring and again, as usual, an excellent um, presentation. A lot of hard work and well worth the effort.